beautiful souls, welcome back to the Observatory Mind, where we explore the wondrous world of plants. I am Trisha, your guide on this enchanting journey of holistic wellness. Today, we dive into the world of a truly remarkable plant, the coconut, a symbol of tropical bliss. The coconut, known scientifically as Cocos nucifera, belongs to the family Ericaceae. This majestic palm tree holds a significant place in the botanical world, revered for its versatility and the life it nurtures. Originating in the Indo-Pacific region, the coconut has storied past, intervowing with ancient civilization and maritime journeys. Historians believe that coconuts have been cultivated for over 4,000 years, the early Austronesian people, famed for their seafaring skills, carried coconuts on their voyages, spreading them to various islands and coastal regions. The coconut's ability to float on water allowed it to travel across oceans, taking root in distant lands from Southeast Asia to the coasts of Africa and the Americas. The coconut, the fruit of the palm Cocos nucifera, is like the Swiss army knife of plants. It provides high calorie food, potable water, fiber for rope, and a hard shell that can be turned into charcoal. It even serves as a flotation device until needed for another purpose. No wonder people from ancient Austronesians carried coconuts on their voyages. The history of the coconut is so intertwined with human travel that Kenneth M. Olsen, PhD, a plant evolutionary biologist at Washington University in St. Louis, didn't expect much geographical distinction in coconut genetics. He assumed centuries of human movement had homogenized the genetic makeup of coconuts. He was wrong. Research revealed two distinct populations of coconuts, suggesting two separate domestication events in the Pacific and Indian Ocean basins. Coconut genetics also preserve records of prehistoric trade routes and the colonization of the Americas, these findings by Olsen and his team, including B. Gunn and Luke Bodin, were, sp were published in the journal PLOS-1. Before DNA analysis, biologists identified domesticated plants by their morphology. However, translating coconut morphology into evolutionary history proved challenging. There are two distinct coconut fruit forms, Niu Kaffa and Niu Vai. The Niu Kaffa is a triangular and oblong with a large fibrous husk, and the Niu Vai is rounded with abundant sweet water when unripe. Dwarf coconuts, which are smaller and begin reproducing at a shorter height, suggest domestication but only represent 5% of coconuts. Most coconuts are tall varieties used for oil and fiber, while dwarfs, which are often self-fertilizing and produce sweet, rounded fruits, are used for fresh eating. These traits are considered definitive signs of domestication. The new kaffa form was traditionally thought to be the wild type, better suited for ocean dispersal, while the new Vai was considered domesticated. However, both forms are heavily utilized by humans, complicating the tracing of coconut domestication origins purely by morphology. The typical grocery store coconut, stripped of its fibrous husk, resembles a cherry pit without its fleshy part. In summary, Despite the complex history and human interaction, the genetic study of coconuts has shed light on their dual domestication and significant role in human migration and trade. 
The coconut is incredibly versatile. Its water, rich in electrolytes, is nature's perfect hydration. Coconut oil, with its myriad health benefits, nourishes both inside and out. The meat, a source of healthy fats, adds a tropical touch to countless dishes. Even the husk and leaves find use in crafts and construction, embodying the principle of holistic living. Every part valued, nothing wasted. And do you know the difference between green and brown coconut? Well, the green coconut are young and not fully matured. They are typically harvested around five to seven months of age. The water from green coconuts is sweeter and more refreshing. It has a light, slightly floral taste. Compared to the brown coconut, these are higher in sugars and electrolytes, such as potassium, sodium and magnesium. It is also rich in vitamins like vitamin C and some B vitamins. Green coconuts generally contain more water compared to brown coconut. The meat inside a green coconut is softer, gelatinous and can often be eaten with a spoon. It is sometimes referred to as a coconut jelly and has a delicate sweet flavor. Brown coconuts are fully matured and are typically harvested around 11 to 12 months of age. The water from brown coconuts is less sweet, more nutty and has a richer, sometimes more earthy flavor. Lower in sugars compared to green coconut water but still contains significant amount of electrolytes and minerals. It may have slightly higher levels of fat and protein due to the maturation process. Brown coconuts contain less water compared to green coconuts because the water has been absorbed to form the solid meat. The meat inside a brown coconut is thick, dense and hard. It is rich in fats and can be processed into coconut milk and coconut oil and dried coconut flakes. So. Green coconut water, sweeter, more refreshing, higher in electrolytes and vitamins, excellent for hydration and has a soft edible meat. Brown coconut water, less sweet, nuttier, higher in fats and proteins, suitable for culinary uses and has a dense, firm meat. From a wellness perspective, coconuts are a treasure trove. They support hydration, boost immunity, aid digestion and promote healthy skin and hair. Rich in antioxidants, they help combat oxidative stress, a key factor in aging and chronic diseases. Consuming coconut in its various forms is like receiving a nurturing embrace from nature herself. Now let us honor this sacred gift from the earth with a gratitude affirmation. Close your eyes, take a deep breath and let these words resonate with you. In the gentle sway of the coconut palm, I find the rhythm of my soul. With each drop of coconut water, I nourish my body and spirit. Grateful for the bounty of nature, I embrace the vitality of life. Thank you, sacred coconut, for your gifts of health and harmony. So, have you noticed the holes on the coconut? The coconut is a perfect example of nature's geometry. The spiral of its growth, the symmetry of its fronts, these patterns are not just visually pleasing, but also resonate with the spiritual belief that they reveal the harmony and order of the universe. The hard shell of the coconut, known as the endocarp, has three distinctive germination pores, or you can call them eyes, arranged in a triangular pattern. This triangular arrangement is a simple yet profound geometric shape found in nature. 
the holes in, are the germination pores where one of the three holes are uh, usually functional and the other two are plugged. The new coconut shoot will emerge from the functional open germination pore. And uh, here you can see the flower of the palm tree. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the world of the coconut. May this humble palm continue to inspire you with its story of resilience, nourishment and holistic wellness. Let it heal you and soothe you and keep you hydrated. Drink a lot of coconut water, uh, preferably the green, the young coconut water. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Observatory Mind for more explorations into the plant kingdom and the mysteries of existence. Until next time, stay curious and stay connected to the beauty of nature.